Next on Comcast Newsmakers, now that recreational marijuana is legal in the state of Washington, how does the state go about implementing it? A conversation with Representative Kandata coming up. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we are in Olympia, the beautiful state reception room at the Capitol. And joining me right now, Representative Carrie Condotta, who represents the 12th District. Representative, thanks so much for coming on the program. Great to be with you today. Great to talk to you today. So you are the ranking committee member, I have to look down at my notes here, on the GAO, which is Government Accountability and, and Operations. Oversight, Did Operations. Oversight, we've, something we've, like yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> but the, but the, the reason I bring that up is that the GAO oversees the implementation and the function of 502, which, That's which correct. passed. Marijuana. Well, this committee does uh, gambling, it does liquor, and therefore they put the marijuana program in with us, and we, we work with the LCBO Liquor Control Board. So, yeah, this is our job is to try to implement this thing. So what's taking place here in Olympia that affects how you try to implement uh, recreational marijuana? Well, one of the concerns we have right now, as many people have heard, is there's a lot of bans and uh, uh, there's a lot of counties and cities that are kind of hesitating to participate because there is no tax, local tax, in this program. I think it was an oversight on the initiative makers' part when they wrote this thing. Most of the other areas, Colorado included, and most of the other proposals we see have local taxes. Without any local tax, there's not a lot of incentive to try something this big. It's a pretty big change. And, and a lot of the cities uh, and counties, some of them at least, are arguing that law enforcement is going to cost more for them. So what's the benefit to them? Right. There, there's also planning and zoning and all kinds of things. So so we're trying right now to uh, to increase the geographical representation of these uh, outlets by offering them a small tax, only 10% of the total structure. We have one of the highest taxes on marijuana, again, of any proposal we've seen. It's 25% at each level from production to retail, which is 75% tax all the way down the line. We're offering the, the t cities and towns 10% of that to, to uh, take this on, to uh, embrace it, and to uh, try to bring criminality off the street. Remember, if we're successful in this endeavor, the idea is to capture revenue that otherwise was flowing we weren't getting, and to reduce the criminal element. Those are the two goals. And I think we can achieve both with a proper business plan, but I'm very concerned about our geographical representation right now. So I think local tax is very important. So, and what sort of support are you seeing? Lots. Uh, you know, all the cities and counties have, have come and have uh, lobbied, and uh, we're really down to just a couple of budget writers that are, are really sold that they're giving up money somehow, and we, we just don't agree. We think that that 10% commission will actually expand the other 90% dramatically because you'll have more participation, a broader geographical reach, and reduce criminality. So we think it's the most important thing we can do here to make the system work. And uh, we already have a challenge on pricing because with that tax structure, we also have to be price competitive, and that's going to be difficult enough without a geographical problem. So. Are we just talking about recreational marijuana, or are you also looping in medicinal? Well, we're going to have another work group, I think. There's been many bills, including one that's out today, that is trying to figure out how to integrate the medical marijuana program, which is fairly well established, actually. Uh, and I think that that still needs some work. Uh, we're not quite there. First of all, we don't have a 502 program really established to move anybody into. We're working on it. The first producer permit just went out. So we're looking at another six months before things really get going. And I think that gives us time to really figure out how to integrate the medical side properly. Now, Colorado did it differently. They took their medical industry and moved recreational into it. That may have been a better model because what we're trying to do is create a completely new market and move medical into that. We're kind of going backwards. And I think we have to discuss uh, how we're going to get there. So uh, I hope we'll have continued uh, discussion. Uh, we do want the medical marijuana program to continue. I do, but it has to be under some form of uh, regulation along with 502. Uh, but is it a separate type of uh, entity? Does it stand alone? I, I don't know until we have further discussions. There's a lot of opinions, but we have a lot of work to do. I mean, this is creating a market out of thin air from top to bottom and uh, the rest of the nation's watching. Representative Condotta, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers Headline News coming up at the top and bottom of the hour.